Good morning. It's Saturday, July the 25th. The call to prayer this morning, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The request for presence today, Set watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any living thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers, nor eat of their choice foods. Let the righteous smite me in friendly rebuke. Let not the oil of the unrighteous anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. Let their rulers be overthrown in stony places, that they may know my words are true. The greeting today, show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all day long. The refrain for the morning lessons today, your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. The gospel reading today from the book of Luke With a large crowd gathering and people from every town finding their way to him, he told this parable. A sower went out to sow his seed. Now as he sowed, some fell on the edge of the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some seed fell on rock, and when it came up, it withered away, having no moisture. Some seed fell in the middle of thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell into good soil, and it grew and produced its crop a hundredfold. Saying this, he cried, anyone who has ears for listening should listen. His disciples asked him what his parable might mean, and he said to them, To you is granted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of God. For the rest, it remains in parables, so that they may look but not perceive, listen but not understand. This then is what the parable means. The seed is the word of God. Those on the edge of the path are people who have heard it, and then the devil comes and carries away the word from their hearts in case they should believe and be saved. Those on the rock are people who, when they first hear it, welcome the word with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while, and in a time of trial they give up. As for the part that fell into thorns, this is people who have heard, but as they go on their way, they are choked up by the worries and riches and pleasures of life, and they never produce any crop. As for the part in the rich soil, this is people with a noble and generous heart, who have heard the word and take it to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. This morning's song. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and helps them. The Lord preserves all those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. The small verse today, I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your acts and ponder your mighty deeds. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for this week. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know my necessities before I ask, and my ignorance in asking. Have compassion on my weakness. And mercifully give me those things which, for my unworthiness, I dare not, and for my blindness, I cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ, my Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let's pray the concluding prayer of the church together. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, my Lord. 
Amen. May God bless you today and always.